church. I'm not that kind of a preacher who will tell you this, that it is your grandmother who is bewitching you. Those things are no longer working. I'm not that kind of a preacher who will tell you it is your aunt who has bewitched you. The Bible says a weak shall not live. So if I be the child of God, I have the power to deal with every witch and every sorcerer. Can I talk to you now? Oh my God. I feel something pushing me right now. I feel the anointing of God. It is here now. Pain becomes your power. I say it is where you are that pain becomes your power. And that's why after I've gone through something for so long, I'm not bothered if I have to go through it again. I say after I've dealt with something over and over again, I'm not bothered if I have to go through it again. Praise the name of God. And your setback becomes your strength. Can I preach to you? And your tears become the story for your glory. I feel it. It's at this point you got to praise God. I say it's at this point you got to lift God. It's at this point you have to magnify God. I praise the name of God for the preacher of this morning. He said the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Can I pick the way I feel it? Kings are made in the wilderness. Great warriors are trained in the forest. Great companies are founded in the crisis. Great governments are founded in the fights. And the great marriages and relationships are founded in pain. Someone says a pain game that is building me up. Can I preach now? There is no shade rock measure can be nego without the fiery furnace. What was the fiery furnace? The fiery furnace was not something that was hanging here. It was something that was under the ground. Praise the name of God. The ground is not the only abyss where things disappear. But the ground is also a land where life begins from. Can I talk to you now? There was no Daniel without the death of the lions. Praise the name of God. The Lord sent me to Revelation and the Tiny City White Church to encourage someone. What you did know, the pain you are in now was a building for what was broken. Praise the name of God. Praise the name of God. After this sermon today, God is releasing anointing of a builder. You will build your children. Your children will not go through what you went through. You are building your sisters. You are building your home. You are building, building your marriage. Can I pick the way I feel it? I see in the spiritual realm. There are people in this place. You have been asking God, what went wrong with me? Nothing went wrong with you. It was just a process of building up the broken foundations, the broken altars. I need someone in this place who has the pain. Stand your own feet right now. Stand up. Lift up the name of God for the build up. 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 In the name of Jesus. I need somebody in this place who can lay hands on himself or herself and prophesy to yourself. I am a builder. Professor, I am.
am a builder of the broken foundations. When the foundations are destroyed, what will the rushes do? The rushes will use the pain to build up the broken foundation. I need a praying mama. I need a praying papa to begin something new in our family. <laughs> Lift up your hands and hold on. I am a pray. Hey! I am a praying mama. I am a praying brother. I am a praying sister. And that's why brothers, let me warn you, don't mess with the ladies who have developed the system of the heavens. When you mess around with them and they lift up their hands and make a prayer, there will be a tsunami. And that's why God trusted Anna and blessed Anna, delivered Anna. And is somebody in this place who can believe with me in the year 2021, you will build up. Someone say a builder. Say a builder. Say a builder. Say a builder. Builders are not pity parties. Builders are risk takers. Builders are staunch Christians. Builders are real children of God. Builders don't give a damn. Builders don't quit. Builders stay in the course. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. If I die, let me die. But in the army of the Lord. You have wasted a lot of time in I receive, I receive seven days of prophetic you attended 90 days of prophetic in the year 2020 and nothing's changed. You need to have the knowledge, the wisdom, and the anointing of a builder. What we need in this kind of revolution, we don't need the mean kind of Christian babies. Praise the God. Let me say this. Non-Christians, they need a miracle to believe in Jesus. But a real Christian does not really need a miracle to believe in Jesus. Ah, uh, you are not talking to me. You are not talking to me. We want people who will be able to believe what they believe. Will you ever, will you go through what Job went through and still trust in God? houses were swept away by the storm and the wind. It was because of the kind of the foundation, the altars. When the altar is weak, anything that develops from it is weaker. Praise the name of God. I feel the anointing of God. Lift up your hands right now. 
God is releasing the healing upon your life. The healing of your mind. The healing of your mind. The healing of your body. The healing of your family. The healing of your body. I release the anointing of the builders. I release the anointing of the builders. You are a prophet. You are an apostle. You are an evangelist. You are a builder. Receive the wisdom and the knowledge of a builder. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and start praying right now. Start praying right now. Start praying right now. Say, I receive the anointing of a builder. I receive the anointing of a builder. I receive the anointing of a builder. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I break every cycle. Every